Hello, right, I'm going to talk you through um, some spend analysis here. Okay, so if you look on the screen, you'll see some uh, spend data. Uh, the kind of data we're going to get from uh, finance. So it would have a lot more rows, there'd be lots more details, uh, things like cost codes and everything else. Uh, column A is blank, uh, just to move it over the screen so we can uh, see it better. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, look at this these suppliers. Obviously, when we look here, it'll go down, say, 3,000 line items or something like that. And you can see some repeats. That's normal because you're going to get a month invoice from things like uh, a water company and a utility company and a phone company. So we're going to grab this. We're going to go copy. And then we're going to pop that over. And we're going to put it in column C. I'm going to put paste. Lovely. That's the whole list of our suppliers. We picked it up. Okay. And now we're going to move over here and go uh, data. Look at the top. Remove, remove uh, duplicates. So it's asking us, do we want to remove the duplicates of column C? Yes, we do. So press the button. And the screen says 19 duplicates values found and removed 10 unique uh, values remain so that's brilliant and the reason we do this is if we had 3,000 line items there uh, and lots of repeats it, it'd make it harder to do the category I'm going to type the word category here okay and then we're going to run down this uh, IBM that's IT BT is uh, telecoms uh, oh come off the screen there Vodafone again telecoms EDF that's a utility uh, Air France that's travel travel lodge travel so these are all the categories that you'd expect in a uh, when you're uh, doing spend analysis on a company so here we go uh, O2 that's telecoms utility again Microsoft IT okay so that's all the categories there we can see uh, we're gonna go down to, to uh, the bottom of the tab rename and uh, just put the word cat we need to save a little bit of time with my typing we got we'll go back to the raw data here we're gonna make this column D a little bit wider and put the word category and then we're going to do a V uh, lookup. So we're going to go equals V L. Can you see that uh, Microsoft has uh, the Excel package is uh, helping us here? And it's saying lookup value. Okay, so if we click on what we're trying to look up, it's B2 there. Table array. So let's put comma and then go to the categories and then we'll grab. C and D, okay, and then we're going to write a little bit of uh, text. So, comma, category, uh, uh, it's one, uh, and that seems a little bit unusual if you've ever done uh, V lookups uh, before. But you'll see why when all will become apparent when we press this button. You can see that we've got IBM pulling IBM. It's just a way of checking to make sure we're not out by three or four lines uh, and then not lined up so if we look down the bottom O2 Microsoft and Microsoft that makes sense let's go up to the top let's change that one to a two and that will pull the category so I'm going to press control enter here and that will bring the categories, categories through as you can see the categories now IBM IT BT telecoms for neatness we are just going to uh, put a board around here okay. right mouse click format cells board up let's pull that through okay so there we have our data okay we are going to use a uh, a method of uh, analyzing that data and it's a simple one 
it's uh, just pivot table so insert we've grabbed those three columns there we're going to press the pivot table button and as you can see uh, that tells us where the data you can see the marching ants going round uh, it says onto a new worksheet I'm going to press OK then and that brings it in so we are going to on the right hand side over here bring the category through and then we're going to bring the invoice value now this will look a little bit strange at the moment because if we look at these invoice values uh, we can see that they count of the invoices so let's have a look and uh, value field settings and we can do the sum okay so when we do this we can see we've got the blanks there we can take the blank out there that is our uh, spend brought into categories now so let's have a quick look uh, value field settings format sales let's oh let's have a look number format here we go I'm talking and trying to do it at the same time let's take the we don't need two decimal points right so that's with the pounds so if we go back to our raw data a means of checking if we press there at the bottom right hand screen we can see that the value is 47641 and if we go back to the pivot table we can see 44764 four, and it's rounded up 642 okay I'm happy with that right if we want to graph let's move along on this uh, take the pivot table we're going to leave the grand totals out because it stops the graph working properly uh, pie charts probably best to show what our uh, pie what our spend is as a proportion and then if we click on the uh, format data series and oh we've gone the wrong way there it's easy to do add data labels that's the one so that's the prices that's the uh, the spend for each category so if we look at it we can see the IT spend uh, it is over here in blue uh, and so on okay that graph would simply go into word document or into a PowerPoint uh, uh, projector so we'd be able to do a presentation on that let's take this let's pop this graph over here in fact let's delete this graph we don't need it let's show some other things we can do with this pivot table same information everything's there we're going to go control C and then we're going to come over here and go control V to paste it in moving the column across there moving the columns just so we got a little bit wider and what we can do as you can see on the right hand side the um, data labels are here so let's move the category out and bring down the supplier and that should tell you the how much we spent per supplier almost coming to the end here but we got one little trick here let's take off the blanks and let's go back to uh, this uh, pivot table here one of the tricks on uh, Excel is that uh, if the telecoms there if we quickly I'm going to tell you when I'm going to do it three two one not going to do it just yet but I'm gonna, as soon as I press that, it'll it'll populate another uh, sheet with the details of our spend on telecom. So here we go. Now, so as you can see, O2, BT, Vodafone, and so on. And these are the spends, the value there, and it tells you the categories uh, telecoms. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. And in just a few minutes, you can see that what you've been able to do is a powerful tool to categorize your spend or bring it into supplier spend and that can be done from a data dump from finance okay thanks